All right, look at that. This is for the big rock. Hot racing. Yoke. New input gear. New diff. I, uh, this thing was the gear that was riding in here with this plastic nonsense here. Uh, obviously, there was too much play or something going on with this. So, got all new stuff, and then we we're gonna put this uh, hot racing deal on here. Hopefully, it uh, holds it tighter together so that doesn't happen. But uh, they do sell um, a metal gear for all this. I just would prefer to leave some kind of wear points in it, but eh, who knows? If I have to, I'll I'll make it all metal. It's just when you start doing that, it just starts breaking other shit. But this is what that gear should look like. That's that's how big of a difference that is. That's what that gear should look like. This is what was in my big rock. Went out to take it for a test drive, and yeah, I was just burning out, like, wasn't going anywhere, and I uh, realized that all I had was front-wheel drive, because this thing was just, obviously, well, you can see, <laughs> it is definitely no good, it is definitely jacked up, so, anyways, that's, uh, an update on the big rock, I'm hoping that works. I mean, we've already thrown the kitchen sink at this thing. <sighs> we got the Typhon 6S shocks with the 3S spring conversions. The Outcast wing. GPM still ends with the aluminum slider. T-bone racing bumper. Uh, stainless steel skid plate. Uh, 150 Smart ESC And it's got uh, Hot Racing Steering Rack 25kg Servo uh, That was actually one of the first things I replaced in here was that servo The stock servo it was junk. I had to keep unplugging and then uh, replugging the damn thing back in. It, it would uh, it would work and then it would just stop. And then I'd have to unplug it, plug it back in, and then it'd start working again. And after like the third time that I had to do that shit, I just replaced it. I was like, screw it. I'm done with that shit. But uh, that's where I'm at. And then we got all this other crap over here too for it. Got a... Uh, well, I got this for the front. I'm going to do the front, too, obviously. Then I got these GPM things from my... Go to my 17mm uh, spacers. And then I still got to put this thing on. And then, uh... I guess we're going to put this on, too. But, yeah. That's about it. And then we got the uh, working on my daughter's Arma Granite earlier, her diff cup. If you own one, you know all about the diff cups. And then we got the kaiju just chilling. And then I did, however, get uh, another build going on. I built this for my wife, actually, the other day. My wife said she wanted to get into the hobby. And, uh,. So I went ahead and I started building her her own little custom build here. It's an RH818. Uh, you can buy them at kit, uh, kit cars. Uh, you can get the, the rolling chassis uh, for $75 and then you add your own shit from there. Your own shocks. Obviously it doesn't come with these arms and shit. I put those on there. And then I've got a 2000 kV uh, motor on here. Uh, motor is 6S capable. But my wife isn't going to be doing 6S. 
Um, I got a, a 120 ESC that I put on here for her, and I think maybe 2 to 3S. I don't think she's going to go to 4S, but if she wants to, she'll be able to. So, yeah, she wants me to paint it and do some other shit to it, so it's kind of nice that the wife's getting into the hobby. But, uh, all right, you guys, that's it for the, the big rock. I will, uh, let you guys know how well this holds up. Uh, until then, like and hit that subscribe button.